What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, hanging out in Nashville, Tennessee, with my good friend Tomo Fujita. Thank you. A lot of people in our community, guitar community here, mm. already watch you, but if you don't you. know Tomo, uh, he's a guitar professor at Berklee School of Music, and you've taught some amazing <laughs> guitar players that are out there now. Uh, right. I won't embarrass you, but you're a, an amazing player and an amazing teacher. So I'm just really so uh, happy to have you here. It's oh, an honor. Man. I know you, you teach literally at the music school. One of the common themes that keeps coming around yes. are triads. That's right. Only three notes, root, third, or fifth, and only three inversions. I like that. I like that too. Simplicity, you know? You can do it in complex ways. Of course, you can combine pairing triads. You yeah. can do that. That's fun too. Yeah. So, so my lesson called super simple triads. And I will do like this, super, super simple, like, okay, C, E, G. Like that, really slow. Yep. One more time. Yep. Like that. So this looks like in kind of A form, you know, right? Yep. Do, mi, so. So next one, mi, so, do. Like exactly. That kind of do. Yeah. People know that, but right. then they don't understand. That's the first inversion. Gotcha. Yeah, so I have to tell them, you know. Then after that. Right, but then people know. Like that. Exactly, so that's really second inversion and first inversion and passing chord. So a little bit more theory behind, not just the shape. You know? yeah. So this way, when you play, uh, you know, even little wing. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. See? Marty knows the triads. It's right. See? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing. So yeah, exactly. People know as a caged system. Like, you know, C, right. A, you know. But that's, you know, based on the shape. But I'm talking about triads, but real ingredient, mm -hmm. you know, root, it's a bottom note. Third is a do, re, mi, c, e, right. d, a c, d, e, you know, you know, third and a fifth. And only three types, root position, first inversion, and second inversion. Then the problem is people memorize this right away. And then I ask, can you play that? Yes, great. Can you play F? Then go like this. Right. Like that. See? Right. A little bit paused. What I'm trying to say is like, you know, memorization is very easy, but you have to do regularly, test yourself, make sure we, we do F. Like that. At the same time, you can do palm muting. Clean like that. <laughs> but other things like, you know, for example, I use reverb yep. for the sounds, nice, but what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you right. know, or even the sounds like that, but then with the reverb, covers it. Ah. So when I practice, I do not use any reverb <laughs> because I have to learn, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So something that I've watched like Larry Carlton, yes. And maybe you can talk more about it from your knowledge. But yeah. like, for instance, if I was playing a, let's change it to E7. Okay, sure. Sort of yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. There are major triads yes. in there. Yes. There's the three, right? right? Mm -hmm. So you'd have E major triad, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right. D, right. And A. Right. But, those three work over just E7. Yes. Right? Yes. So it seems like, do you know what, I, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, if I, so, so if you play E, right? Yeah. P play like, you know, play any groove, right? Uh, yeah. 
So if I play like that. Yeah. So, yeah, talk a little bit about so, that. So, I was just playing E7, right. E blues, E groove. Yeah. Exactly you said. E is, you know, the, right there, the chords, root, third, fifth. Everything go whole step down, so root become plus seven. Right. Major third become ninth. Uh-huh. And the fifth become eleventh or fourth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically, yeah, basically, it's a mixed scale without right. one note. So this way. That's a basic Carlton rig. But he would do stuff like that, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. And a diatonic try. But anyway. That's a nice one. Oh, let me see yeah. that one again. Then I change. Yeah, or, or you can do that, it's the same. Same direction. Right, right. Like that. Yeah, but, but if you do that, what you do? Then you are doing diatonic, which is good. Like. Oh, right, right. Yeah, but that's but, okay, but we yeah. could do, but the original idea was E, yeah. D, and A. Yeah, so. that's right, right. Right. And then, but, what was it? Yeah, I did, I did actually repeat E, D, E, D, right. And after that, you can do like, you know, bluesy. Yes. What? There you go. <laughs> Even this or that. One. Like that. Then watch here, right? Yeah. So what happened is, then did. I did what, E, E, and a D. That's it. That's cool. Pretty what I, much. What I, what I like about this concept yeah. is that it immediately sounds different than yeah, that's the, right. the, the, the movement of the this, pentatonic. Yeah, this is the first thing of... Exactly. Which I really like cool. it. I like it too. I like right. it, but it's really fun. It sounds even more impactful if yes. you have it in between yes. a little... So, 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 like, you know, this is, how about this one? So, that's an E.
Tomo. All right. Thank so you so nice much. having you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of the stuff that I that I learned today mm -hmm. and implement it into my own playing, and yeah. I can't wait. You, yes. We'll leave links down below okay, for you guys to you. go over to Tomo's channel. You can see him. Follow him on Instagram as well. Yeah. You'll see him everywhere, but we got all the Thank links you. below, so check that out. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, see you soon.